Hello, everybody, and Whoa! welcome back to session one, act two of the Wizarding World tabletop campaign. For those of you who are confused and have no idea what this is, uh, I'll put links around so you can follow along from the very beginning, including act one. But this is a continuation, the second half of essentially a Harry Potter universe tabletop campaign. Um, Hosted on my channel, and we are back with our four lovely contestants slash war heroes <laughs> or war fodder, as whatever the case may be. Um, heavy drinkers. <laughs> heavy drinkers. Just Jordan. No. I miss you all, by the way. <laughs> I missed you Starting so with much. I so let's jump in with the warm up question. Shall oh. We? Oh, I haven't I done this in so long. <laughs> it's been so long. I'll start with the. Uh, easier easier or funner funner question um in game it is new year's eve they just hit we went just came from 1999 to 2000 um ignoring all the stuff that hit the fan during this time what would have been your character's new year's resolution I can go first. Oh, I, know. I actually was prepared for this because I was like, what part can I ask us? And I was like, it's New Year's. Hermione of the group says, I already prepared for this question. Yeah. Well, me and Jordan are struggling to remember what our actual New Year's resolutions are. <laughs> Listen, I'll buy you guys some time. Um, so the thing I was thinking for Al. I do think that what happened in the very last episode definitely increased his desire to do this. But I think since around Christmas, um, he he really wants to find out more about his mom. Because right now, his, his memory of his mom, I think, is very, I guess, one-sided. Obviously, like, he remembers her as this awesome, great person. And not that he wants to change that, but he's starting to realize, like, maybe there's more to that story that he didn't realize um, and especially after talking to Celeste, like, I think his New Year's resolution is he wants to kind of research a little more, maybe talk to his dad a little bit more and find out some of the maybe not so happy secrets about Miwa Mermont. Juan has actually been thinking of this for a long time. Uh, he kind of realized something. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, him... His New Year resolution would be, he has been a shitty boyfriend, and he would <laughs> like to change that. Oh my god. He wants Miracle to be better, because Naila deserves better. It's what showed you the light. <laughs> uh, fuck, last, last session really hit me and Juan of how awful he has been. And here going to change that, man. Levi, I think unintentionally was uh, kind of a bad friend <laughs> to his people who were his friends. Like, uh, to like Chance, there's been times where like he hasn't talked much to him or 
not avoided him, but like made, definitely hung out with Chessa way more. And then Rodney, of course, <laughs> like uh, I didn't know I could call off campus, but uh, he definitely has done a, done a bad job of like the friends he does have showing that instead of like trying to find new friends, the better friends, the ones he's already has. Um, I think Roxana's New Year's resolution is the same as her life goal anyway, which is to chill the fuck out. So <laughs> just chill out. I think like she'd probably start with actually trying to, it's a bit of an umbrella term here and it's not very specific, but I think she would more so be trying to find what she actually wants to do with her life. Um, which is probably going to be seen in the campaign anyway, but I think she would really start to look into, like, uh, do I actually want to stay in school or do I want to do something else completely different? So, yeah, I think that would be her New Year's resolution. At this moment in time, let's... The interesting thing is is that um, for those of you who are watching um, off-camera during the break, I asked everybody what side they were going to be on during this war. And interestingly enough, all four people are kind of, sort of, going to be representing every single side of this, um, including hands-off and neutral, or mm -hmm. at least attempting to be hands-off and neutral. So um, my question is, if you guys find yourselves fighting each other, which, which one of you do you honestly think, if all four of you were in a rumble, like, like in a battle royale, who do you think would win? <clears throat> Who do you think Juan or win? Levi? Juan or Levi? Why do you think that? Juan, because last episode showed I might. He has one thing that he's good at, and just the one, just just the one, uh, and that's his magical ability. Uh, he is really. I think that when shit hits the fan. So in the personality sake, Juan gets so cut up and his emotions. We've seen it before. He, if he really thinks that he needs to beat them, he will do it and he's very competitive. So he might go all out. But then I think that Levi could also win because Levi has become a monster. He's not only big, but his <laughs> max boot skills have gone. Uh, well, Roxy can kill us, so. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Just a reminder, I can. Yeah, Roxy can kill you. Yes. I got yeah, that quick can kill too, me. so I can. That's two. If I roll successful, that's two of you. So. You're gonna get bounced back. So go ahead. Boom! Right back to your face. Your own spell. Okay, I well, want to hear what I'll think. Uh, Albion can also sick a can also sick a big strong Russian boy at you. <laughs> that was Albion's like a summoner, basically. <laughs> I was gonna say I think Al would win. That would be was my answer because I think Al. Yeah, why do you think that? Uh, I really think Al because not only is his magic actually pretty good. He has the added benefit of everybody just loves him. <laughs> and I think he has the most allies on his yeah, side. Yeah, I don't think where... any of us can fight him. Yeah, because like if we had to fight, I, I think we would all go for Juan instantly. <laughs> so he would be kind of I really think he'd be out. I think he'd be outnumbered really fast. And as good as his magic is, I think he'd be beat up pretty quick by all of us. <laughs> just, like, we just all like freaking tag team horns like let's get this out of the way and then <laughs> yeah like i don't feel like being a snail today let's get one <laughs> and then better than being bad if you like the rock so i think al because in in the sense like uh he just has the most allies and a lot of people care about him and it would be the hardest to want to beat up al <laughs> al's allies i like it. yes al's allies is why he would win for sure <laughs> He also is the only one that can heal himself. Yeah, that's true. You know? <laughs> so um, <laughs> take that into consideration too. Al's gonna be like, "Oh, here's my boyfriend, and here's his big ass trident." Are <laughs> 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 you really sure you want to do this? Okay, I really yeah. forgot. It. Yeah, that's also I, true. I don't know. I think to art to thank you, Brandon, for sticking out for Al. But I think that that <laughs> argument can go both ways, and that 
he's probably the least likely to like he's a pacifist he's yeah. the least likely to do something to any of you and so i feel like from a strictly numbers point obviously um levi and juan stand out i think just with their magic ability and then jordan does have or uh, roxy does have the killing curse but um i think from a character standpoint we've seen juan be the most kind of off the rails to for lack of a better term so i think i think my money would be on juan i think levi would have a hard time hitting any of them unless like i think juan would be the one that levi would hit first because he would get under his skin um but i would give the edge to juan i think it's pretty I don't know even if I want i don't know if i want juan to be the one that everyone wants to beat the shit out of. <laughs> that's that's the only reason I didn't say Wong, because I really think like if Parker's like, okay, that's what we're doing right now, all all you're gonna fight, <laughs> I'd be like, we all gotta get Wong right now. All three of us, let's get him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's gonna be like that those wrestling matches they have where they have like ten people wrestling at once. Yeah. It's gonna be like one of those. No. I think I, I think I said um it's pretty even across the board, to be honest. I don't no, I oh, guess okay. I guess Quan. Yeah. But like they all have like that one thing that makes them significantly better than everyone else. So it's like Yeah. It's hard. Mm, it's really hard to pick. Cause like I got the insta kill, Juan's good at magic. Levi can beat the living shit out of you. And then Albion's got like, all right, here's me, here's my squad, let's go. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's jump right in. So <laughs> Everybody, I believe, is at Albion's house. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. If they were during the conver the last conversation Celeste and Juan had, yeah. they should know that Juan attacked first. Yeah. And, well, obviously, because he de transformed them. Yeah, because Celeste called you a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like to say that Juan Solo attacked first. Yes! Juan Solo. Yes! Juan Solo to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One solo shot first. <laughs> yes, that's the best. Basically, when Roxana gets back, she's very, very quiet. She's not gonna say anything. Uh, Juan is just going to grab the shoulder where he was bitten, give a glare to Roxana, and just go get himself something to drink. I'm gonna say that Naila immediately will notice this, and she's going to rush towards your direction and say, Oh my goodness, Juan, what happened to you? And she'll, you know, she'll come up to you and she'll try to look at the wound. Ugh, nothing, nothing. That, that girl, that French woman, she was a fucking vampire. A vampire. And and I think that uh, you'll visibly see Naila's face go white. Did she? No, no, we... Sh I think I should be okay. She told me she was only to calm me down. Al would approach and start to look at the wound to see if there's anything you can do to it, or needs to be done to it. I mean, I think it still needs to be healed up, yeah. So um, there's still two holes there. There's still some puncture wounds in there. He so. would, um, he would use the Vulnera Senator then. Um, cool, go ahead and roll. Just to make sure you don't fail, basically. Uh, Bye, okay. One second, I forget. <laughs> cast I a spell. Bye, arm. <laughs> Crit fails, your whole arm comes off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I rolled an 18. Oh, that succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> Nico will just suddenly, like, throw up his arms and says, Can somebody just tell me what the hell is happening out there? <laughs> Someone okay. <laughs> Juan will stroll towards the center of the room and he will start talking. Oh, okay, Nico, you want to know what the fuck just happened? Fucking terrorists started attacking everywhere. We are at war now because of some stupid... And I tried to stop the ones that started it all, but someone stopped me and he will look at Brox. He's a little man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little man. <laughs> she says nothing. She's just looking. Yeah, I think the whole most of the room is gonna shift their <laughs> towards Roxy's direction. 
You know, every, well, everyone was trained on Juan, and as soon as he said Roxy, and then they'll they'll shift over to Roxy's direction. So, First. Juan, you're saying that Felix and Celeste and the rest of them started all of this? Yep. Terrorists, true and true. They knew about the attack, and they came here to threaten the world government of magic about it. While while this is happening, just just as an FYI, Toby and Tritessa are a little bit off to the side. You've never seen Tritessa in this state before. She is sort of like almost in a fetal position, and she's got like has her arms grabbed around her knees, and she's sort of like sh- shaking or like like rocking back and forth. This girl who you've always seen like nothing phases her. She's like having a breakdown at the moment and Toby is currently like trying to calm her down and and she just keeps whispering something I don't think any of you is going to be near enough for her to hear what she's whispering but you can ver- at least visually see that she's whispering something over and over again as she's rocking around I would look at Roxy is this true? yes it is true but he's leaving something out of his story you swung first yeah I was trying to stop terrorists First of all, they weren't intending for anybody to get hurt. I'm not saying Aww, they, were... they weren't no. intending for bad things to happen. That means they are at not any fault. If you're not going to let me speak, then I won't fucking speak at all, all right? Speak! Come on, let me hear your excuses. <sighs> all right, Juan, listen, I'm not saying anything they did was right. But I don't entirely know where I stand in all this, alright? You swung first. They were not intending to hurt people, okay? We can use our words. You're better than this. I was trying to stop you before you got somebody killed, is what I was trying to do. And you know what? When you flung up in the air, you know how close I was to letting go? You could have killed me! I will catch you. Whatever, Quan. Justify it all you like. It wasn't looking very pretty where I was standing. I had it under control until you stepped in. Yeah, right, guys, let's... Whose fault it was at this point doesn't seem to matter. Is everyone here? Levi, are all the kids here? Joe? Like, let's make sure we're not missing anyone. Um, just to let everybody know what all the other characters that I haven't mentioned are doing at this moment. Um, so Nihilus with, Nihilus with Juan, still. Toby's with Tritessa. Um, Finn is actually um, at the looking out the window, just ch- like watching, keeping watch of what's happening outside right now. Um, I'm going to say that Ayika is, is probably asked um, permission from Ellis, who's around. Um, and Ellis is probably in the process of getting people blankets and things because he's figuring they're probably going to stay here for a while, so he's getting everybody blankets. And Aika's starting the fire. Um, Chessa, I believe, is just standing right um, by Levi the whole time, unless she has any reason to leave his side. And I think that's all of the champions. Oh, and and Nico yeah. is pacing. Nico's pacing around. Chance has. Chance has been silent this whole time it's, and has popped back onto Levi's shoulder. Yeah, and then the kids, I think, are starting to gather around the fireplace and th- one of them just keeps asking Joe a lot of questions and Joe tries to answer some of them, but he honestly is just as clueless as they are. One of the kids you overhear say, Mr. Joe, are they going to hunt us down? And Joe doesn't really know how to answer that question. <laughs> So Al had asked Levi if everyone was there. I assume everyone uh, was. Yeah, it, lo- it looks like everybody's here. I, I think uh, quick head count. It's like we're all here. My, but you know, your dad's not here. My dad, other dad's not here. So I'd kind of like to know what's going on with them. But at least all the like. kids are here. All the kids are here, yeah. Holy moly, um, Finn says as he's looking out the window. Oh god, what now? I'm sure it's no big deal. No big deal at all. Oh no, it's nothing bad. It's just... 
just look and if anyone follows and points out the window, you're going to see like flocks and flocks of owls flying all over the place. Um, which is probably, again, um, what I think is the parallel to when I, rem I was there during September 11th and like one of the first things people do is they get onto their cell phones and they start calling each other. So obviously now that this happened, everyone's sending their owls all over the place to send, I'm okay, messages, basically. Um, so yeah, the sky is full of owls, which is, could be a beautiful sight, but right now you kind of know what that means. Yeah. Levi would try to call Hunter also... on oh, his cell phone. You can. An on school parents. He's going to try to call Hunter on his cell phone. Okay. I'll answer the phone after a couple rings, and they'll say, son, where are you? And you'll hear okay, stuff like in the background, like noise in the background. We're, we're all at, uh, you, you remember Albie and my friend? Yeah, my buddy, he's, we're all at his place. Japan. Good. Stay there. We've got a lot of things that we're trying to sort through. Oh, when you, like, think you'll be home? I have to be honest with you, Levi. I have no idea. Uh, all right, yeah, uh, he at least, like, I don't know, like, text me or something, make sure you're all right. Yes, I'll I'll check on check up on you. Just again, just stay where you are. Don't leave Albion's house. Is Al's dad there? Augustus? Yeah. I haven't seen him yet, but I'm assuming he has his hands full just as much as the rest of us do. Alright, I'll just make sure. Uh alright, well, you know, love you, try to be safe. Text me like every hour or so. And uh we're in Japan, we're gonna stay here. Where's... are you with Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe's right here. You want to talk to him? Please. Hey, Joe. Hunter. And I think Joe's going to, like, leave the room to, to take oh, a call. Oh, trying to listen. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, if you want to follow him, you can. No, no, it's fine. I'm pretty sure, and if we need to change this, that's fine, but Al has two houses, so I'm pretty sure he would have apparated to the British house, like the English house. Yeah, okay. that's uh, okay. So I change, I change what I said. <laughs> I mean, Levi may not know. He may just assume they're in Japan. That's true. Because he, he would have only that's seen true. Japanese. Yeah, houses. I've never seen your that's second true. house. <laughs> okay, so you might have said. That's fine. <laughs> so, in that case, Al would walk over to Levi and not not out loud so everyone else could hear. But he would walk over and say, "Hey, buddy, we're not in Japan. We're actually in England. I've got two houses." Two <laughs> <laughs> well, houses. Run the boys. You really big... got two rooms. You got two houses. <laughs> <laughs> the perks How of being a politician, you, son. <laughs> but you don't have two houses. <laughs> Wait, you have two houses too. Juan, do you have two houses? Were we at your like gay house during the Christmas party? Uh, your night house is somewhere in Morocco. I mean, my my family's poor. De La Rivera's. No, they are not. They have like five houses. They're fucking rich. Oh, five houses. Okay, big boy with the five houses over here. How many houses you got, Al? You got thirteen houses or something? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh god. Nico is probably gonna come to Al's rescue, and yeah, him, and he's gonna wrap his arm around Al and sort of like whisper towards him, "Hey, uh, Al, um, do you guys got something to eat? Um, I think." He looks over at Toby's direction. I think Tretest is broken. I would kind of look around and see if he sees Ellis anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Ellis is now, uh, you've seen him looking for, for like blankets. So he's probably in the hallway back looking for other things to get them so like pillows would, and stuff. He would find Ellis and say, can I help with anything? I, I think we might need to get some food or some drinks ready I can help I was about to set the kettle for some tea Master Albion I'm assuming that these guests are going to be staying with us for an indeterminate amount of time I I guess and until they can at least get safely back to their own homes he's just going to nod quietly and and continue um, continue trying to get everybody comfortable hey Finn uh... yeah he says as he looks uh, back from the from the window. Can you help me out in the kitchen? Of course. 
Chessa's gonna um, tell Finn, I'll keep an eye out, Finn. So she'll take his place looking out the window. What do you need me to do? He asks. Well, I think I think we should just get everyone a drink to get started, but um, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I kind of want to be out there, you know? That's kind of what I was afraid of, just based on how things happened at Juan's party. What do you mean exactly? Well, I, I just know when... When things started to get heated, he really wanted to be outside and in the midst of it all. And like I said, back at the ministry, don't let me stop you, but you know, maybe at first you should at least go see if your family's safe before you do anything else. Yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to see if I can send an, an owl up there, but I feel like there's a lot of traffic going on at the moment. Well, uh, obviously, I'd, I'd rather you stay here, at least here I know what's happening with you, but if you need me to, I can I can operate you somewhere if, if you want to check on anyone, and then I could come right back here. I mean, we always have the bracelets, too, if I, if I need you back here. That's true. But I think I think I'll stick around here for right now. I would probably smile. I, I I want you where I can see you, he says. I would smile as he um, kind of gathers some of the teacups and takes the tea off the stove. And I'll say, well, I'd, I'd rather have you here too where I can see you. And he'll kind of blush a little bit and he'll say, but if you, if you need me to take you anywhere, just let me know. If I... And I don't know if owl. I, I assume they would have some owls. I don't know. They don't use the British house that often, so I don't know how yeah. realistic that is. But if they had them, he'd probably offer. I'm sure you have somebody taking, like when you're not at the house, and if you yeah. guys, I'm assuming they're just not going to let dust get collected yeah. at this well, house. So Ellis they probably goes have. back and forth. So. Right, so I'm assuming you do have some owls here that you can send out. So then in that case, he would he would offer that as an option as well. Thanks, Al. I appreciate it. That means a lot. And, and then they would continue getting the tea and probably take it back in. Uh, Juan will go towards Tritessa and Toby to see how are how they are. Tritessa is still not in a very good state. She seems to be talk, speaking in Portuguese right now. I don't know if you know Portuguese. Uh, I don't think I do. Okay, so she's babbling something that you don't understand. And Toby is still like trying to calm her down, and and Toby says, "Oh, hey, 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 Juan, uh, yeah, 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 you, you okay?" He says as he pats the shoulder, his shoulder where your shoulder got bit. Yeah, no, don't worry. Uh, he will pat his shoulder. How are you guys? Do, do you need anything? I, I think Tritessa just needs some 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 tea to to, to calm her down and and I I I, I oh, I'm I'm so f f furious. What, 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 what were they thinking? Okay, okay, Toby, 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 come on, come on, man, relax. I and he will clench his fist. Like I know what you mean. It's 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 gonna t t t t t take forever forever to, 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 to clean this up. Now everybody knows, and and, and it's, I don't I don't know what's what's gonna happen. It's it's it's. We're gonna fix I, this, Toby. Don't worry. He says I I I I've I've, I've read a lot about, about what what was happening during during the, during the Salem witch trials, and and, and I, this the, that's the next logical step if we don't plug up this hole f f f fast. We're not letting it get that far. At least, I will not. This, this is a shit show, but we can fix this if we work together. Just, the magical community needs to stand together and fix this. At this point, I'm going to say that Ellis is going to bring a tray with some tea and she's going to offer it to Tritessa and... Uh, Toby's gonna, you know, bring the tea and let the vapors 
enter her nostrils and she'll start to like notice that there's a cup in front of her and she'll slowly reach for it and start, you know, blowing into the tea and start sipping it slowly to calm herself down. I don't know how things got this far. Did, did you think that that, that um, they're, they're going to start recru- recru- recruiting people? I... I think so. I think so, Toby, because there are some people that and Juan will not say anything, but he will remember the images he saw of his uncle fight being the leader and eventually started fighting the ministry. There are some people that are not making the wisest of choices. And you know how the muggles are, they tend to react with violence. They, we might need an army, although I hope it doesn't get that far. I hope that the other side realizes what a stupid idea it is to everyone knowing the secret. And we can just start working on fixing it. But it's totally possible that an army might be required. And Juan will just sit down near where Toby is and just like put his hand in his head and contemplate the situation for a while. I just like, I don't know if anyone would come talk to her, but basically she would move to go over to Toby and try Tessa, but seeing Juan had gone over, she's actually going to go outside. While you're going outside, Chess is probably going to call out to Albion and she'll say, Al, do you? You don't, I don't suppose you have a TV in this house, do you? Probably not, out of character. No. Yeah. Uh, no, Dad's not real big on any sort of muggle technology. It's kind of a shame we can't keep an eye on what's going on out there. I think Chess is going to notice that uh, Roxanne is going to go outside and she probably will. She probably will follow after her. I was gonna say Unless Levi thing. stops her. I'm I was sorry. gonna say I was gonna I was gonna say the same thing, God. Go All right. Levi, go talk to Rock. Both Levi and Chessa will actually step outside. And Chance since he's on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Chance will be out there too. Hey Roxy, Chessa says. So she'll actually go up to Roxy and I don't know if they're I don't know if they're close enough that she would like actually touch her, but she would at least, um, you know, stand next to her, I suppose. What's on your mind? Just asks. Oh, you know, nothing much. <laughs> what a mess. Hmm? That's putting it lightly. Um, I'd probably point out that her, like, skin's gone, like, lime green. <laughs> it's gone, oh, like, no. <laughs> I'm a little bit hey, sad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Rox, you like really uh, chose the vampire side over ones? Levi, it's really complicated. I right? wasn't there, I'm just asking your side. Truth is, I don't have a side. He just snapped. Like, I, I know Juan can get angry sometimes, but I've never seen him snap like that. Yeah, did you hear him say that stuff, that BS about like, uh, Muggles tend to go towards violence, but his first reaction was to do violence. That's pretty crazy, yeah, right? I know, I know. The point was, I was trying to de-escalate the situation because as soon as he started attacking, she started attacking, and I was worried one of them were going to get hurt. If he had hurt her, he'd probably get in trouble. And then if he hurt her, if she hurt him, it would have just been a shit show, and I... I was de-escalating it the only way I know how because I'm not as good as magic as him and I'm not as strong as her. So I just did what I could. And now everybody probably thinks it's my fault and that I'm that I'm the one resorting to violence, but I was trying to. Anyway. Hey, I, I don't think it's your fault at all. I don't think it's anybody's fault. I just think that a really bad situation got a little bit worse when 
everybody decided to fight. Uh, cooler head, head should prevail. You know, <laughs> old Levi here shouldn't be the one logically thinking while you guys are all fighting. Uh, we kind of need you guys for that. Uh, but you know, I, I was I was thinking, you know, hey, I, I need I think I need to go right now and like help. What are you going to do, Levi? You should stay here. I mean, there's a lot of muggles out there that didn't ask for this war, and now they're a part of it. I need to make... I can help. I know some magic. I can stop. I kind of agree with Levi. There's an awful lot of collateral damage, and a lot of the nomads and muggles are unfortunately caught in the middle of it. That's my girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's just hold it up for one second, all right, before somebody goes out and does something stupid again, okay? I'm not about talking about fighting. I'm talking about helping. Like, these, these muggles are caught in crossfires. There's spells going. They're not going to know what to do, so they're going to react. Yeah, I know. But this is a really, really stupid thing to say, I know. Let's just see what happens. Let's just stay here where it's safe and see what happens. That is the best thing. That is how you help your fathers, Levi, right now, is by staying put and not worrying them. You too, Chester. I'm sure your parents would be very worried if you went out. You too, Chance. Let's everybody stay here, okay? I guess we can hope that everything just blows over and the AMRS or whoever manages to somehow have some sort of protocol for this situation. I'd like to think the ministry must have something in place for a crisis like this. Levi, does... Didn't something like this happen in America like ages ago? Yes, but I don't think it was at this scale. Not worldwide. No. Probably not. Yeah, you know what they're going to do is they're going to come on in and start, you know, wiping everybody's, me all the muggles' memories while the wizards get to remember what they did. Oh, shit. I just remembered something. Um, was Natasha there? I think so. Wasn't she? <gasps> Wasn't she? I, I think forgot about my sister. <laughs> you left your sister. Rexana's going to have the same react. All of a sudden, she's just going to go. Oh, my God. I have to go back. What? Natasha Natasha was there. Oh, so all that stuff about sitting around only applies to everybody else but you, yeah? It's different. She's my sister, Levi. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of people I care about that I'd like to go see. Roxy, if you go back, I'll go with you. No. No. Well, you can't go Look, by yourself. Yeah, I can and I will. I have a few jerks up my sleeve. Look. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. I can only give you advice. Um, I'm not going to get on my high horse here because I'm about to do something very hypocritical. So if you guys are going to go out, that's that's on you. Just like how me going back right now is on me. I got no pedestal to stand on here. I don't know what I believe, but you guys clearly have a side. What I'm trying to say. I have a side as well. You'll hear Aika call out from oh, the back. Yes. <laughs> Roxanne is just gonna turn and look at him. And he'll he'll walk over and says, "My side is with you. You want to go after your sister? I'll be right there." <laughs> Together forever. <laughs> okay. Um. I, I can't. I can't ask you to go with me. It, you, I don't know. There could be something crazy going on there. You didn't ask me. I just invited myself. I tend to do that, Ayuka says. You do, actually. <laughs> you don't have eyes on the back of your heads, but maybe with myself, it might uh, give you a little bit more of an advantage. Don't worry, he says. I'll let you do the heavy lifting. I'll just <laughs> be there to look nice and pretty. He says as he like flashes his eyes at you. Thanks, babe. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so. Um, is there anybody you need to check on while we're out? He says, I've already sent a now to my mother and hopefully she'll send me a response back. Okay. But for the time being, 
Um, I know where my mother currently is. You don't know where your sister is. And as you know, that is a secret that I must unlock as well. You're so weird. Okay, let's go. <laughs> she's um she's gonna turn to Levi and she's gonna say, "All right, Snowflake, um, I gotta go." Oh yeah, um, yeah. I mean, tell me to stay, and then you gotta leave. That that sounds like rocks. Yeah, I know. I'm an asshole. But remember, you got this. And she's gonna pull out the puppet. You need me to come back. I'll be here. And like I said, Levi, I can't tell you what to do. Okay? If you have no, to but go you're, out- you're my friend and I do, uh... I'm not going to be angry at you if you leave. Well, I was going, going to leave anyways, whether you said not or not, yeah, so... That, see, that's classic you, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, stay safe. If you need me, remember you have this. Okay? Alright, try not to die. Aika, keep it safe. You too. Be safe. Now, my little piglet, allow me, if you, if I may, to make a suggestion. And possibly a New Year's Eve gift, he says. Do go on. He's going to pull out a, 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 a satchel, which you've seen this before. This is like the satchel that he takes powder from and throws into the flu network to get to his mom's house. Um, and he'll hand this to you. This is a little alchemical substance that I called Flujack. It essentially allows you to hijack the flu network. You can use it virtually to travel anywhere. There is uh, access via flu network, including some of the um, <clears throat> more difficult to reach places. Oh my God, you did it. <laughs> oh, I did. Probably <laughs> around year four, I think was when I concocted oh. this. Where have you been all my life? Oh my god. Okay. I will treasure this always. The question is, where are we going? Um... Well, the party was at the Ministry. We got to go back there. It's going to be Bedlam right now, but... Got to try. I think he meant you two as like a couple, where you go. Oh! Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, do you mean like... Me? I was going to leave that question open-ended. Okay, well, uh, answer number one about the ministry. I'm going to repeat what I said. It's bedlam. Uh, it's going to be pretty crazy. That's where we're going. Um, answer number two to other potential question. Um, I don't know, Aika. Guess we're going to find out. Oh, yeah. To the fireplace. To the fireplace. <laughs> That's another reason why Aika was at the fireplace, because he had he figured, ah, let's go explore. <laughs> let's go explore. All right. So follow him. So you guys will go through the flu network. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Levi would suggest to Chester, like, hey, you want to, like, apparate and go with me and go, like, start helping people, or...? I think at least that would make me feel better than just sitting in my hands all night not doing anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I feel like I'm wasting time here. Like, yeah, I'm safe, but people are being hurt. Like, my... Might as well go do something, right? Um, Le Levi, uh, Chance will say on your shoulder. Uh, buddy? Do you, could, I, could I talk to you privately for a second? Oh, of course, pal. I'll walk more privately. Levi, I, th I, I, I think I might be... How do I ask this? Do you... Do you think we're going to go back to school after the break? Oh yeah, of course. I'm sure this. I'm sure this like war thing's gonna be like a couple of days, and be like you know, wash our hands with it, get back to normal day living. Yes, Levi. But what? What? What if? What if this is too big of a mess for the men, even the ministry, to be able to fix? What if? What if we can't? We can't go back to school in the spring. Uh, that would be something. I, I don't know. I've barely been at that school anyways, so. It's not like I got a huge attachment to it. I only got like one year left. Only been there for about a year and a half. I, I understand that school school was not something that you necessarily wanted to go to all the time, Levi. It's just, but it's the only place in the world that I actually felt like a person. I, I actually had friends 
there and I, I think I told you I was scared about about graduating because then I'd have to be thrown into the real world and have to fend for myself again and I, I just I just I don't know he you can tell that he's feeling very insecure yeah it looks like we're uh, going to be out and about for a while and I just um I don't know I just don't know where I'm going to what I'm going to do next oh well like now that like muggles know like different people exist. Maybe you're allowed to just walk freely. You won't have to worry about it no more. I mean, I know about a little bit about how muggles see leprechauns. They they, they chase after us. I, they, 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 they look for us because they want what we've got, like our gold or our, our luck, and we're just, we're just lucky charm objects to them. Well, yeah, but have, you, have we ever took the time to stop and tell them that that's not how it is? I'm sure that's how most wizards were at first, and then once they realized you guys are only optional lucky lucky then that's when it stopped with them they may didn't they make cereal out of us oh, okay look the lucky ch- they're delicious at least the mag- they're very magically delicious i mean they they had the best intention in mind when they put you as their mascot i promise yes and i bet you that no one in the leprechaun community has seen a nut of any of the profits from your cereal you 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 Muggles and nomads have been exploiting our existence for years, and we have not gotten a cent of the profits. Hey, well, look, once we get this all taken care of, maybe we could get a little bit back paid to your people or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got a bunch of leprechaun things. Like, there's some horrible horror movies about the leprechaun. There's, like, the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame that, like, they, like, use leprechauns for their stuff. Like, there's a bunch of stuff where you guys could probably make out pretty well if this goes well. The Fighting Irish? Is that like a leprechaun army? Uh, they're, they're a pretty good football team. <laughs> I just had, Chessa will say, I just had a sudden image of a leprechaun army. And he says, yes. At that point, like, I, I think that uh, Chance looks very proud and he puffs up his chest. I can be one of the Fighting Irish. I can see it hey, now. I, <laughs> uh, I like it. Hey. Maybe after this is all over, if wizarding school is over, you could go to America, go to Notre Dame, then you're all of a sudden, you're a fighting Irish, true, true blue. I have no idea where that is, but if you think I can make friends in this Notre Dame place, then, all right, Levi, I think I'm ready to go out with you and Chester to go save some, whoever it is we're saving. We're gonna go save the muggles. Let the wizards fight it out. If they wanted to fight, let them fight, but. You gotta save the muggles. They need the protection. All right. Well, I got your back then. And I got your front. <laughs> yeah, Chester says. So <laughs> I'll just be the awkward third wheel as usual. Chester says. No, it, it's not. Look, it's my boy. You know, he's. You want to ride on my shoulders too? I, you can get on my shoulders too. I carry you both. Let's do this. <laughs> Um, she'll, she'll just kind of chuckle and says, all right, Levi, let's get our head in the game and focus. <laughs> all right, let's go. Where are we headed? I'm following you. Let's go to, uh, uh, it was the English ministry where all the kids were, all the other? Correct. Yes. Okay. That's probably where Levi would want to head back. Cause there's still probably a ton of people still there. I would assume. Yeah. Okay. So that's probably where Levi would want to go. Okay. So you guys will go. Um, that means Albion and Juan are the ones left at Albion's house. Albion's probably noticing that people are like disappearing and leaving. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask if like when Roxy and Aika came in, did they say anything or did they just go? Oh well, we would probably tell you we were going. I'm sure um, they would say okay. something to you. So unless yeah. you want, if you want to stop them, that's. No, I think, I think he would have understood going to make sure that um, Natasha was safe. Like, he would have been okay with that. Um, did Levi say anything as they left? Oh, yeah, he would tell Al, like, hey, pal, we're about to head out and go uh, start, you know, rescue missions out here. Rescuing who, Levi? <laughs> uh, people who need help. No, look, I saw, I saw on the TV that the Wizarding World was fighting, and then in the middle of it, I saw a bunch of muggles start to you know, panic and get involved. I'm gonna go out there and go help them. 
Levi, that's no offense. That's very heroic of you, but don't you think you first should make sure everyone here is okay? Like, you guys are welcome to stay here, but like, shouldn't we get Joe and the kids back to to your house? And what about our dads? Like, Roxy went out to get her sister. I understand you want to help, but who are you going to help? You you don't know what you're getting yourself into if you just leave right now. I know. I just I can't. Al, I can't just stay here and hope things go okay for everybody. Levi, this this is like the beginning of a war and you just want to go in and just jump in. Like, you don't even know what... <sighs> Look, you do what you got to do, but I feel like we need to figure out what's going on. Like, all we know is the brief details that Roxy and Juan told us. Like, this seems like it's a lot bigger than this. And right now I feel like it's just the chaos before everything starts. And I feel like jumping into that chaos is is very foolish. If you want to help, I get that. But I feel like let's at least see what's going on first. Yeah, but you know, by who knows by tomorrow how many people are affected by this. You know what they do to muggles that see wizarding stuff? They're all going to get obli obliviated. And that's not good, no. you know? At that phrase, you see Al like visibly kind of wince a little bit. He, he'll look at Chessa and Chance and be like, are you guys going out there too? I'm kind of in agreement with Levi and um, Chance says, yes, and I can't let my best friend out there by himself while he's being all, what do you call him again? Ratman? Well, he's ratmanning his way around the city. It's a Batman. Chance, I told you a thousand times it's Batman. <laughs> oh, yes. So that makes me Blue Jay? Cardin <laughs> Cardinal? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely makes me Blue Jay. And I'll be Batgirl, Chessa says. Batgirl, yeah. <laughs> oh, that means we get to have costumes. Look, Chance, I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> we could be like vigilantes. I was just shaking. All right, you know what, Al? Maybe we should stay. Maybe we should stay. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about this. <laughs> Al will you know look at Finn, because Al is worried that Finn's going to like be like, oh, they're going to go. Like, Al yeah. glances at Finn. What's yeah. Finn doing? Finn looks uh, like he really wants to go with them too, um, but he's he doesn't he doesn't like say anything. Hey, big guy, you want to come help us out here? Al shoots them like a glare at Levi. <laughs> he's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Finn kind of goes over to Levi and he puts the hat on his shoulder and he says, "I'd love to. I'd love to, Levi, but." I'd rather stay here with Al. Well, that's good, you know. Uh, we're not like going out to fight. That's not my intention. We're just trying to help. There's muggles that need to be moved away from this magical fight that's happening. Well, what did your dad say? Did he did he say you guys? Th th is it that bad out there? Oh, he said things are getting crazy around here, and to stay here. <laughs> 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 I just looks at him like, look, Levi, you do what you've got to do. I'm staying here, at least for the night. We had a lot of, a lot of information dropped on us prior to this all blowing up. I mean, everything that Celeste and Michael and Vienna and Felix were telling us, like, there's a lot we've got to process. And I just feel like jumping into this tonight is a little bit reckless, but... He'll, he'll walk over and he'll give him a big hug and he'll say, if you go out there, just be safe. I will, buddy. I promise. We'll be, we're not going to, we're just going to go save a few people. He'll look back at, at Finn. How long would it take you to make, make them each a bracelet? Uh, not overnight. Can not I give them mine just for the night? Since we're not going anywhere. If that's what you want to do, Al. He'll take his bracelet off and he'll he'll give it to Levi and say, he'll look at Chessa and Chance and say, stay close to him. If you guys need to come back, this will bring you to Finn. And Finn and I are staying here for the night. All right, pal. Yeah, Ch uh, Chessa will actually go up to, to Albion and she'll give him a hug. He'll hug her as well. You guys stay safe too, okay? 
Any of you want to come with us? You'll ask anybody else in the room. Uh, Nico, I think he's going to pass. I think he's still too confused to like do anything. Uh, Tritessa is now finally calming down with Toby. Aika's gone. I think that's it. I think, oh, Naila. Naila's going to hang out with Juan still. So I think that's it. Good luck, Levi, uh, Naila says. Don't die up there. Nah, we ain't going to die, pal. We're going to just go and get people out of out of the war zone. And don't get caught, Tritessa finally speaks up. Does uh, what? Joe like, interact with Levi at all? Joe's taking a call. I need to get out of here. I need to get out before he comes back. Yeah, yeah, Joe's still talking. I think Joe's still talking to Hunter. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Levi is going to leave. While this is happening, Naila is probably with Juan, like I said. And she's going to say, So Juan, I this probably isn't a good time, but maybe it is just to add a little bit of levity or normalcy to the situation. Uh, not to complicate things in any way, but <laughs> totally unrelated to all the craziness that's happening. I meant to tell you at some point during the evening that, um, my mom was kind of asking when, um, he, they'd get to meet you. And so my parents were wondering if, um you would be able to come to dinner to meet the family in the near future. <laughs> Why are you gonna no, no, do me don't this? You do it. Why are you gonna do me this? Why are you I'm, I'm not gonna... Okay, okay. Uh... Oh my God. Give me a sec, give me a sec. <laughs> you are, oh my god. Oh, what a bad boyfriend. No, shut up, Brandon. You're making it. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't cool. Me and the love of my life are all fighting crime. Go ahead and uh, be the best boyfriend right now. Didn't I leave you for rocks? <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh,. After Juan hears that, he will look at her with a bewildered face. Are you serious? Uh, well, I mean, I've I've talked about you on and off, and they've been very curious over the last couple of months. And you know, I, I didn't want to necessarily ask you to do anything over the holidays, obviously. So. They thought, you know, maybe sometime after the holidays, if you were available, just to have dinner. Just, just, just dinner. Very innocent. Just dinner. Uh, Naila, I... I don't know if I'm going to be able... I don't know if I'm going back to school, honestly. I... I need to sort this out. I... Naila, I saw my uncle. He was leading the terrorist in Mexico. Oh, I I, I didn't know that. I'm so, I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault. But and he will again clench his fist. He's so obviously trying to calm himself down. But I need to sort this out first. I need to. I need to take care of him, and he... I just can't not do anything. If there is a war, I'm joining in. She'll um, take her hand and she'll like put it on your shoulder. I understand. All right, well, I guess I will just... I'll just let them know that things right now is it's not a good time. And I, I'm sure they'll understand, considering what's happening right now. He will give her a faint smile and say, thanks. But... Uh, Mayla, I... Fuck. 
he will get up and say, "Come with me. We we need to talk." And he will oh. go outside. She'll she'll stand up, looking a little bewildered, and say, "All right, sh- sure." And she'll walk out with you. Gotta do it quick. Just get the bandaid off. Very much right now. So Albion will probably see Juan leave with Naila just to step outside. I think Albion will also notice Tritessa has sort of been watching them and her eyes are following Juan and Naila out and Tritessa sort of has a look on her face. <laughs> like her eyes gonna go. <laughs> She's better now. She's very observant. Naila, I... With all the shit that's happening, and that's going to happen. I don't know if we should stay together. <laughs> oh, Roma's so mad right now. Roma is so mad at you right now. She is screaming in the live chat right now as we speak. I oh. I'm sorry, Roma. She she sort of uh, you. She looks very crestfallen visually in her face and she said she gets really quiet and at first she doesn't really like say anything other than oh and I'd say like a very awkward 30 seconds passes by which probably feels more like an hour even though it only 30 seconds and she says I, I-, I see um, look it's you're a wonderful girl. It's just that I need to focus on this and to serve someone that can put his 100% on you. And I can't. I just can't. I've been very, very patient with you, Juan. I <laughs> Throughout the year, you know, you've been kind of distant. And I've... I've... I wanted to talk to you about it, but I, I figured every single time that I wanted to talk to you about it, it was not the right time or it was just uh, I just I, I just something just stopped me and told me maybe if I just let you have your space you'll eventually come around and sort through things and I I don't think I played this right and, and I I feel like I'm to blame by pushing you away no 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 Naila no it's not your fault don't ever think that it's my fault. I I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I uh, am. Yeah. And we'll just walk Bye. right inside. Bye. Wow, <laughs> uh, he just walks inside. Yeah, he can. Wow. Wow, you can't even dump her <laughs> right, you a hole. <laughs> Brandon, please, you it's are... hard for him. That Whoa. could have gone better. You know what? Wow. It's actually the best thing he's ever done for her, if you really think about it. That's what Jordan, I just said. It's the best Jordan, thing he's ever Jordan, done for her. AJ, I hate you guys so much. <laughs> now you know you love us. God. Naila, I'm, Naila. So I'm so sorry. You walk in, leaving Naila outside. Um, <gasps> oh, and poor girl. Right after, right after that happens, Juan is walking down the hallway and... Um, you're going to run into Joe, who just got off the f- phone with Hunter, and he says, Hey, Juan, have you seen Levi? Uh-oh. Oh, Did I see him leave? Look, Joe, Levi left with chess and chance. He left? Oh, all of a sudden. <laughs> they said something about rescuing people. He... He... Hunter told him to stay home. Look, Levi can take care of himself. He's one of the best wizards, well, not wizards, magical users I've ever seen. A- and Chesa, she she can take care of him. Joe, for the first time, looks peed off. Like, he's not a person who gets angry easily, but he's really peed off. He takes Levi's phone, and then he like takes his fist and just sort of slams like the t- a table like nearby. Then he... He just turns around and he kind of storms off. Really, really angry. Juan will just follow him 